I traded the S&P 500 gained 0.3% last week, a week of strong declines following Italy's debt and the trade war ended slightly higher on a better than expected employment data released on Friday. In the past 9 years, the bulls have learned that every pullback needs to be bought and despite the pessimism of the bears, it succeeded this week again. May ended up with a 2.6% rise and now June is at the door. This week will be affected by Apple's technology conference on Monday and the rapidly expanding trade war. Let's have a technical view of the market. When we take a look at the S&P 500, we can see that the consolidation that we've been talking about in the past few weeks continues and the resistance point at uh, the 2740 area of the S&P 500 remains. However, the technical formation looks great. The pullback from the lows last week ensures us that the momentum is probably going to continue. So if I'm willing to bet, well, it looks like this will be the week when the market finally move over the resistance point. Now, I want you to take a good look at the Nasdaq. Now, the Nasdaq already moved over the, over the resistance point. It looks great. And that means that there's a very good chance that the Nasdaq will lead the S&P 500 to the breakout of uh, this bull flag formation that we've been watching in the past few weeks. So technically speaking, the market looks great for long. Let's have a look at my last big picks. Last week I had two picks. The first one was uh, Zen long. Zen did not trigger. However, the technical formation is actually getting even better. It's consolidating near the highs and the longer it base, the higher into space. So it looks like uh, Zen may finally go through this week. My second pick last week was Tiva, Tiva long. Now Tiva did not trigger too and there's also a very nice consolidation there. So hopefully if Tiva and Zen is going to, are going to uh, break out, they both look fine for the next days or for the next few weeks. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is Apple, over $190.37. A very, very nice technical formation. And I mentioned earlier the technology meeting on Monday. And that usually brings to some more upside move in Apple. Now, it's a nice combination of the meeting and a very, very nice technical formation, plus a very nice momentum coming from, from Friday. So Apple looks great for long. My second pick for the week is Twitter, over $36.80. A very nice technical formation and again a very nice momentum coming from uh, Friday. I wish you a great trading week and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching this video. Before you go, we invite you to take Traders free trading challenge. If you succeed, you will receive free trading education and access to a $14,000 funded trading account that will allow you to trade from home and keep 70% of your profits. Click here to sign up for this no risk, no cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.